travel around for a little while. Anyway, had our left early this morning, and I can talk, and he's not coming home tonight. I can still talk. <laughs> uh, I have to take a shower. I'm going to straighten up the house really quick. I already hung out the laundry this morning, but that's pretty much all I did. I'm going to film a morning and afternoon routine. We don't do much in the night, but I'm going to film a nighttime routine showing what I do for my acne, what I've been doing. Um, it's getting there slowly but surely. If I had the sun, if I went out in the sun, it's too cold right now. It's like 70 degrees. <laughs> but if I went out in the sun, um, it would probably clear up right away. The sun helps me a lot. Anyway, good morning. Yes, it is. This is a car I'm taking to a different base on a mission, and it's extremely dirty. It's like a warrant officer level in our Air Force. That's the rank of the guy, and he keeps this car extremely dirty. It's just the way he is, and I wouldn't specifically mind it, but I gotta drive this car. You understand what I'm saying? There's people who have to actually ride in it. He doesn't get it cleaned. I'm not going to clean it for him. I'm in the front seat. But people who are driving, people who are riding with me, it's a, it's a shame. Just look at it. The reason it bothered me so much is because I had to replace a flat tire yesterday and I couldn't find, he literally doesn't have parts for his jack and the lug nut remover. So I was stuck. I actually had to drive on my rim. As you can see, bunch of garbage here. I mean there's literally just a bunch of garbage. That's the only part of the jack I could find. I can't find the, the thing for it. I mean why do you, why? Hello. Here's what it came down to when I stopped to get it fixed to replace it. This, this, and that. <laughs> I mean, that's that, that can't be healthy for a tire. I think it's just really old, and it just went south on me. Have you ever looked under your underarms and just looked, looked up in there? I had like three blackheads under each arm and I use a scrubber that's so hard on my entire body that like you probably wouldn't even wash your bathtub with it it's so hard that's how hard I scrub with this scrubber I come out completely red and Hadar's like oh my god what happened to you you look like you got attacked by a beast you know while I was in the bath I scrub. I have to scrub. I have um, keratosis pilaris, which is a like buildup of keratin on my skin. In certain spots, I get it on my upper arms, my upper thighs, and the bottoms of my face, the bottom of my cheeks. And I have to scrub there, or it just builds up, you know? Maybe I had a, a couple of blackheads under each of my underarms, so... Regardless of how hard you uh, scrape yourself, you still may have some nasty things under there. Might as well just check. Especially with breast cancer, you want to be looking all around there, all around your boobs and stuff. Boobs and stuff? Boobs and stuff. Can I say, say boobs? Say boobs and stuff. Boobs and stuff? Yeah. My boy. So creative. This is feet. <laughs> Good job. Wow. Good job. Just doing a little swimming. It's pretty cold here, so it's nice to take a nice warm bath. Do I see a 
And when I say cold, it's like 70. Yeah, it stinks as usual. Ugh. I had to guard the night again. I had to guard at night. Um, had to. Can't do it. Can't speak. Can't speak. I had to guard last night, 10 to 2 a.m., and I got the day off today. Already got my uh, unit's car, one of them, the really dirty one, and we're gonna go do shopping. Me and my buddy over here. Can you see him? Yeah. We're gonna go do shopping and everything and I'm tired. I <laughs> didn't sleep much. I had to wake up at 6. So I don't have anything else to say, Andrea. But nothing. We're watching Brave! Brave! Yeah. Brave! Yeah, Brave! <laughs> He's got his tea. He wanted tea this morning instead of milk. He thinks he's watching Shrek, but he is really watching Brave. <laughs> he's been watching Brave. But anyway, he had to go pee, so he went potty, and then I gave him a footstool. All ready to watch it again. Okay. He's got a, he's drinking tea. He's got to pee again. That's what happens. You drink that tea. Meanwhile, at base. He was being naughty as soon as I took the camera off him. Anyway, there's nothing like refueling for free. Earlier this week... Can you say, Hi, Phyllis. Hi, Phyllis. Hi, Phyllis. Bye-bye, Phyllis. You okay? Are you okay, Raphael? Why, Phyllis? Say, Hi, Phyllis. Hi, Phyllis. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Stacy. Bye, Stacy. Bye, Stacy. Hi, Phyllis. Hi, Phyllis. Bye, Phyllis. Bye, Phyllis. Say bye, Grandma Esther. Bye, Esther. <laughs> Say bye, 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 Grandma Esther. Bye, Grandma Esther. Okay. <laughs> um. Woo! Just me and my mom. Boy, you're ready for school, aren't you? It is! Merry Christmas! Kitty. <laughs> Kitty, get off my desk. Okay. Look, just got three new cards. Happy Christmas, Andrea, Hadar, Raphael. From across the miles. I don't want to open it because her address is in there. But this is from Karen from the UK. Wait, it said from across the miles? Yeah, from across. This is a uh, custom-made card. It's it's got it says Andrea Hadar and Raphael on it. Nice. Yeah, that one's from Louise and Anna, but this one's from Louise and Anna too, because she went to Germany. Lorac. Me. Lorac. That's where she was at, and she sent a postcard from there. Thank you very much. It's from Amanda, and I got this one from Darla Matthews. Fa la 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 la. <laughs> and I got this one in the mail. This is a handmade card. Look how pretty that is. This is a dreidel that they play. You spin it, and it's got different letters of the Hebrew alphabet on all the sides. And you spin it, and it's... Uh, Hadar doesn't really know how to play that game either. Look at this. Look how beautiful. So, Merry Christmas on one side, and Happy Hanukkah on the other. This is... 
Shima. What's Shima? Hanaka. Hanaka. Hanaka Shima. What's Shima? Sameach. Oh, Sameach. Sameach. Okay. Uh, the, that could be an S H or a S. No, Sameach. Sameach. Hanaka Sameach. Okay, thank you very much. And this says Merry Christmas in English. And this is her Etsy. This is the girl that sent me the camo blanket. So if you want to check her out, the banana jar on Etsy. I'm going to do the unbelievable and not be a man. I'm going to multitask. Hanukkah Sameach Lekulchem. Okay. Thank you very much for considering that. Be considerate, because I'm a Hebrew speaker and not an English speaker. Ah. <laughs> I was thinking about that when I got the mail yesterday, because it said Andrea Lansfeld in Hebrew. And it was in Hebrew. <laughs> and I said, how'd she get that out? <laughs> I was thinking, From oh, America. People actually, Hebrew people watch us? Wait a minute, that doesn't make sense. She lives in America, though. I know. But she's from Israel. Yeah. Yeah. People really don't watch us here, I don't think. There's, I have like nine Israeli subscribers. <laughs> but then I thought, how awkward is it to see me speak in English every day? But I look, yeah. I mean, I never speak in English until I'm here at home. He's or, Israeli. Yeah. He's not <laughs> For all American or anything. He's 100% yeah. Israeli. I don't speak English anywhere but here. So, yeah. uh, I thought that was pretty awkward yesterday. So. <laughs> Whoa, Hebrew mail. Unexpected. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. It makes Christmas much better for Andrea. And Hanukkah for you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't get gifts for my family. <laughs> I know. Everyone's in their own house. We're way far away, though. Three hours yeah. away from everyone. But, yeah, they do Facebook and all that stuff. I don't do it, so I... Yeah. Quote, unquote, I miss out. I don't miss out. I don't care. <laughs> so here's my wall of cards. Thanksgiving, kitty. <laughs> okay, I just covered up her address. Happy holidays to all of you. Thanks for all the great videos this year. Meow to kitty and hi to peaches and Elmo. Love from the UK, Karen. Now, we had a friend from the UK that was called Karen, so I hope I'm not saying your name wrong, but we looked it up and it should be since you're from an English, an English speaking country, it should be Karen. So hopefully I'm saying it right. Hey guys, I have a site that I would like you to check out on Facebook. Uh, it's not mine, it's a, a Facebook friend of mine. It's a sanctuary, like a rescue, a bird rescue, and they run strictly on donations. And she's really needing help this year. They have to drive to different places to pick these birds up. Uh, basically when people get you know, the African greys, the tropical birds, whatever, they don't realize what a uh, commitment you have to put into that bird, time, money, you know, everything. They're like little two-year-olds. Um, so she takes birds in from people who kind of buy them uh, without researching. <laughs> so they're not able to take care of them. And when I found a, a crane, on the road one time and it was hurt you know its leg was hurt its wings spread out I, I was in a room and its wings spread out at least six feet you know wide and if somebody like this had not come and taken that bird I know it's a wild bird it's not a, a tame bird but if somebody had not come from a nonprofit organization to take my bird away from me, I would have had to try to fix that bird myself, and there would be no way. At the time, I was a single mom and couldn't afford it, didn't have a place for it anyway. These people, they, they spend their own money, transportation and everything, to rehabilitate birds. Check down below. I'm going to have a link to their Facebook page. You aren't subscribed yet? Please subscribe and like. Comment and share. Fully living. Oh my god, I love to sleep last night. It was great. And then here comes the cat and jumps right on top of his face. <laughs> so many ways to use a ball. <laughs>
Wow!